Atlantis. For many millennia, the legend of this forgotten world has haunted the dreams of mankind. But what of the reality behind all the stories told by philosophers? What if Atlantis was never really a myth? It all began one morning in April 1937. I was on board the celebrated Hindenburg, the biggest airship of the famous Zeppelin line. I was on the way home to the U.S. from a conference in Germany on the future of aeronautics. As I was contemplating from the gondola the vast sea of clouds, I couldn't resist a certain pride since I was one of the engineers who brought this giant of the sky to life. Two days out of port, the Hindenburg slowed to a brusque halt. Crew members announced a technical problem and bustled the passengers into their cabins. I attempted to peer at the motors through the bay windows when a most disagreeable meeting occurred which would make its mark on my whole future. Are you Howard Brooks? Yes. What's the matter? We wanted to know, that's all. Plans of the Hindenburg, the greatest airship the world has ever seen. I'm proud to have been part of its conception.
Hey, there you are. Oh, don't look like they beat on you too bad. Unlike me, I kind of think I got a broken leg. Yeah, I've seen a few of them in my time. Do you want me to call for help, Mr. Garetti? Lou Garetti. Nah, don't bother. Anyways, there ain't time for that. You have an important rendezvous, Mr. Brooks. Then you better not be late. How do you know my name? Hey, was it you that... Nah, <laughs> don't worry. It wasn't me who hit you on the head. <laughs> I've been following you since your conference in Germany. My boss figured he was gonna have a bit of trouble, so he had me keep an eye on you. I, uh, had a little word with the guys who was pushing you around. And where are they now? Forget about them. They got away on the emergency biplane. Thing is, though, they sabotaged the Hindenburg. We're stuck here, buddy. Up in the air. Who are these men who attacked me? Pretty tough guys. And uh, I speak from experience. Oh, They're after something valuable you got. Something you inherited from your father. I guess they figured you got it with you. What the heck is this all about? My father's been dead for 20 years. And he didn't leave me any precious object that's worth a lump like this on my head. Maybe you don't even know what it is yet. But let me tell you, these guys know what they're doing. Fortunately, my boss has taken certain precautions. He'll take care of you. Who is your boss? Mr. Foster. A businessman, real big time, you know. He's very keen to meet with you in New York. He knows all about what's going on. He could wise you up about this uh, inheritance stuff. My job's just to see you get there safe and sound and in one piece. You say the Hindenburg's been sabotaged? Yeah. They obviously wanted to create a diversion, and after I tangled with them, they must have got a bit carried away just trying to gain some time. Where are all the crew? And the passengers? The crew are checking the outer skin and the hydrogen tanks on the upper levels. There could be an explosion. The passengers are being kept in their cabins for safety's sake. I'm sure I could be of some help speeding up the repairs. Well, I guess since you work for the Zeppelin Company, you are part of the team. One of the motors is down. You could try and get it going again. I believe there's a problem with one of the gas pumps. You should take a look behind it. You say the Hindenburg's been sabotaged? Yeah. They obviously wanted to create a diversion, and after I tangled with them, they must have got a bit carried away just trying to gain some time. Where are all the crew? And the- The crew are checking the- I'm sure I can- Well, I- Pressure's really low. There must be a leak somewhere. The pressure's Pressure's really low. There must be a leak somewhere.
Hey, there you are. Well, don't look like they beat on you too bad. Unlike me, I kind of think I got a broken leg. I've seen a few of them in my time. Do you want me to call for help, Mr. Uh... Garetti. Lou Garetti. Nah, don't bother. Any... How do you know my... Nah! And where are... Forget... Pressure is really low. There must be a leak somewhere. You say the Hindenburg's been sabotaged? Yeah, they obviously wanted to create a Where are all the crew? And the crew are checking the outer skin. I'm sure I could be of some help. Well, I guess since you work for the Zeppelin company, you are...
I've replaced a defective pipe. The pump should work now. Nice work, Mr. Repairman. Now you just have to get it going. Must be a lever somewhere, huh? The pump has a broken belt. I need something to replace it with. Take my belt! My cousin Gino's a mechanic. I remember he did that once. It's good to hear that motor again. Now I better contact my boss to let him know you're coming and find out where you gotta meet him. There's a telex machine somewhere on board. Send a message from me and bring me back the reply. Hey, I'd go myself, you know, but <laughs> this leg's out of action. Don't worry, I'll do it. What's the message to be? And the package is intact. Please confirm delivery point. Got it. Right then, the package shall see what he can do.
Hey, you're pretty good. It's a pleasure to work with you, Mr. Brooks. Okay, what does the message say? The boss will meet you at his office in the Empire State Building on the 14th floor. He's gonna ask the captain of the Hindenburg to dock the airship on the Empire State's roof. <laughs> Mr. Foster never does nothing by halves. Ah, looks like we're off. About time.